Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great year, folks. You're going to love it. And, you know, I did read this card the last day of 2022, but I'm going to read it the last day of 2023, and we're retired for a month or so. Always do your best. Surrender. Let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 124, NASDAQ off 92, S&P's down 24, gold contract up $18.10, traded at 1844 an ounce. Silver up 12 cents, $24.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $3.31, $76.95 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading up 11 ticks, 112.20. The 30 year up 30 ticks at 126.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 1,021 ticks, trading 104.542. Euro is at 105. Yen is at 130. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we have confirmed ABC structures down in all the indices. S&P out here today, tried to get to a higher price, couldn't handle it, gave it up on price. It's gone from 386 down to 380, hit 377. Bottom line, this is the building cause. It's going to go after this B point again. The B point is 377.85. We went to 377.83 today. Uh, bottom line, this wants the lows of October, which is 348. NDX 100, that's going to be the lead dog, folks, all the way down. So the NDX 100 out here. I got to a high today of uh, 270. You're trading 264. Uh, the the closing low, we had, we had a closing low. It, it, was, it was so intriguing last week, folks, because when we did have that closing all-time low, it was like no one really picked it up. Bottom line, uh, we had that come in on the 28th. Bottom line, um, you're not only going after the October lows, this is an ABC structure down to 244. So if we take a look at this, we put this up. And we go look for this 244, you're going to be kind of right there. What is that? That's, that's June of 2020. So the NDX, I suspect, is going to go to the highs of the lows of March. 219. Yeah. And I'll show you why. Okay. Uh, bottom line is that what we have is this. Let's go to Apple first. We, you know, bottom line, this, this is going to be a big dog, meaning in the Apple spin, folks. The reason being, you can see in five months, you know, we went from 176 down to 124. Now, Apple has held up compared to the rest of the market in 2022. That being said, guess what? We get a new year. We get a new dog that wants to go a lot lower. You're breaking a swing point out here today. You're breaking the swing of 125.87. You need 85 million shares, you're down 82 already. This is going to be an ABC structure down, and watch it sticking out like a sore thumb. 103. And, you know, hey, we'll, we'll find out from there. There's 103. Let me put this up like this way. As you can see, you broke the whole consolidation. Your next leg is right here. Let me put the volume on it so you can see this also. Give me that volume. 103 is the number. So Apple running to one. Now, now watch this one. Tesla. Tesla is an ABC down. This, what's going to be so intriguing here, folks, watching the aspect of the amount of wealth that has got chewed up on Tesla. So Tesla right now is breaking the B point. You, got, you need volume of uh, 221 million. We're going to have it. We have 202 right now. This puts Tesla, okay, on a $50 path, 5-0. Five, 
And let's go find five zero. Well, 60, <laughs> look at this, man. This is sick. Put this on a monthly. So this is, this, this is going to give up the whole run. The whole run. And look, just look at, look at this bar in December, the amount of selling that was done. 2.9 billion. So Tesla had a high of 414. You're at 107, 50 bucks, here we come. You know, well, and if that's what we do, you are going to see one of the biggest margin calls to come down. And this is going to be the typical uh, 1999, 2000, high-flying stocks, CEOs, executives, margin them out. They get a margin call. See ya. Don't want to be ya. And the whole thing goes south. Gold. Let's go to the gold contract out here because there's no doubt we have divergence. The divergence is gold is up, as is the dollar. So we have a gold, the 203,000 contracts. That's good contract volume. There's no doubt about that. Now, we had heavier contract volume, but that's still good contract volume. Uh, 220, 231 was the highest thus far. far. Um, and we'll see whether gold can hold price. It's having a hard time basically staying above this uh, 18, well, it's really 1836. You know, we spiked last week to 1841. And hey, we'll see where it goes. Meaning, but now we go to the dollar. And, and what you're going to see in the dollar, and what they've been doing with the dollar, this is getting really intriguing, because what, what, what we've done with the dollar is that the dollar has that nice spike out here today. It's, it's up with conviction, right? And that being said, what has happened is that we come into the close, um, even last week, the bottom line is that they start buying the dollar, man. So we'll see where this shakes out. My, my take is that we're at 104.515, and the bottom line is that the price point that we're going to be going to um, is 107 and 108. And a couple of the Tigers are saying that uh, not even Tom believes, and that's not, that's not the fact. Uh, the bottom line is that there are plenty of people bullish and in monched away on the gold market. So it's just the opposite. That it's, it's, not a, it's not a bearish market. I'm bearish gold. That's a, that's a whole different ballgame. The, the buying is out there. What you have is that my take on this like, is that you still don't have conviction in the move. So, hey, we'll, that's what makes the market, man. We're going to see where this baby's going to go. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 72. NASDAQ's off 73. S&P's off 17 and a half. We'll come right back.